Hello, my name is Martyr, and this is Let's Play Words for Evil, and thank you for watching. Words for Evil is a puzzle spelling RPG, guys. We've seen games like these around before. Um, Letter Quest jumps to mind, but I'm sure there are some others that I'm, you know, currently can't think of. Words for Evil released on Desur around August 2014. It was developed and published by Dylan Loney. You can go ahead and get Words for Evil on Desur for $4.99. And there will be links for all that good stuff in the description. Also, I should mention that Words for Evil has a green light campaign, guys. So if you like what you see, you know, go ahead, give them an upvote, give them your support. I encourage you to do that. Links for all that good stuff in the description as well, guys. Now, guys, I love RPGs. RPGs are some of my favorite genre of games, you know, from Skyrim to, you know, the JRPGs to the Final Fantasy series. I love RPGs, you know, and when I saw Words for Evil and I saw the mixture of RPG and word game, I was kind of intrigued. Plus, you know, I enjoy, you know, pixel graphics. I like pixel graphics. I think they're adorable, actually. So I checked out this game and it's a really interesting kind of well, difficult game. A lot more difficult than I expected it to be. And I thought I would share it with you guys. Let's start off with the options menu. Nothing really fantastic here, guys. Uh, you have your sound, music, volume, sliders. You have two different difficulties here. Because the thing about this game is it isn't turn-based. As you were spelling words, things are hitting you. So in the time that it takes you to spell rat or bat or any combination of letters, uh, things are hitting you continuously. The monsters are constantly attacking you, depending on what difficulty you're in. So if you're in pro, they're going to do a lot more damage than they would be in zen. I'm going to do play a game in zen just to show you what the game is like. Um... And because I kind of suck at the game, to be brutally honest with you. Uh, the only thing I will say is I'm not a huge fan of the resolution options here. There's not a lot, but I understand why the resolution options are this way. There's really not much to... It lends itself to these kind of resolution, basically. There's not much uh, graphically here. It's a simplistic looking game, uh, but I don't want you to think that that means it looks lame. I, I actually enjoy the way it looks quite a bit. Now, there's a guide here to explain to you all this good stuff here. Now, let's talk about the classes here. There's a total of 16 different classes, guys. Um, all of them have their own unique abilities, their own strengths, their own weaknesses. Excuse me. And um, they will level up as you're playing the character. So the more longer you play one character, the better that character will become and become more efficient in future playthroughs. Because you will die eventually or you really you could be mastered english unlike me um, and you know you could just go all the way to the end but if you do die you keep all the experience that they've earned and then you start the game over again with that strength so right here for instance this character has 450 hit points an attack of 90 i think that blue thing represents their mana this represents their level obviously and then they have three abilities that they all have and basically are all different depending on the class that you're using so i'm gonna new game here there's six areas for you to go through with different monsters and um, different kinds of, tra well, not traps, but just different monsters in general. Uh, and like I said, I've only unlocked four of the 16 characters thus far. So I have the Flame Priestess, the River Spirit, the Arkwood Ranger, and the Silkfoot. And each of them basically just are very, just has very unique abilities uh, and plays all a little bit differently. As you can see, I've played with the River Spirit the longest. Uh, she has like these healing, hold on, so I can go to her, I'm gonna take her off so I can actually look at her, that'd be great. She has like a healing ability, she hits enemies with a splash attack, she also has this drench attack which hits a lot of people and stuns them for 5 seconds. Pretty cool stuff. And then we have the flame priest priestess which is all about damage, and you see that says where it says agility or agility, this one's luck, I think hers is wisdom, well that tells you what their primary stat is, it basically tells you what they're proficient at. And as you're moving through the game, you'll find these shrines or things like that that will let you choose a stat which to upgrade and do better things. So if I upgraded Wisdom, she'd become more proficient. If I upgrade Agility, these guys will become more proficient. You'll see what I'm talking about in a bit. So I'm going to take her and the Flame Priestess and we'll get the show started, shall we? Now, the game is very simplistic. Like I said, graphically, um, you have those pixel graphics and you're kind of just basically always moving right towards either monsters or loot or treasure. Um, and things get interesting when you actually start having to spell things, and you'll see what I mean. Well, each of these pads right here, sometimes there's red, sometimes there's, you know, green. Uh, well, that depends, that basically represents the two different characters. So if I spell a word, spell a word with the, um, the green letters here, let's just 
shuffle this because I don't see a word. So let's go with uh, bag. Two green letters. All right, I'm gonna hit enter. That was going to either activate her her level two ability, but because she doesn't have her level two ability, all it did was activate her um, her level one ability. So let's go with sis. Another ability. You know, you need to activate the colored panels for you to um, to get an ability to go off. So let's see here. Uh, deuce. There we go. Now, if you come and com combine some of the colors, like for instance, J O. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna work. Joff? Joff's not a word. What am I doing? Okay, we'll go with R. Okay, is that a rock? Totally works. Rock works. Um, H A Hap. That activated her ability. You can see how that kind of works. Depending on the combination of letters you use, depending on the color panel it is, it'll activate uh, their corresponding class to do something else. Depending on how many color panels you activate of one particular class, they'll either do specific things like their level one ability, level two ability, or their level three ability, uh, which is their ultimate ability. So let's move forward here. Uh, now the experience that we gain basically will stick with us. It'll help us level up. We'll get more abilities. We'll get more stats and move for farther and farther and deeper into the game here. So Vicious Sly, let's take him out. Let's go with, uh, by the way, I'm terrible at this game. So Rice! We just hit it with both characters, did a bunch of damage, half his health is gone now. Let's go with, um, so, that worked, okay. Let's go with Judge, can I get Judge off? No, I don't think I can get Judge off, it was close though. Now all the letters do have to be corresponding to each other, so if I click this J, I can only use the other letters around it, they all, the nine letters around it. So let's go with Jug, perfect, we killed it. Check it out. Sometimes you don't need to spell very complex words. Sometimes you can spell simple words, um, and that will work. And usually that's what you're going to want to aim for. Three letter words, three, four letter words to get what you need done. Now, if there is random events that can happen in the game, you can find like Medicine Man, who will heal your, heal your party, for instance. I could pay 64 gold to have her heal. We currently have 141. I'm not really going to worry about it. She's fine. Uh, you can't play the game with your keyboard and mouse. Um, but I find it easier for me to play with my keyboard and that will be really dependent upon your style of play Like you can try to spell out words with the keyboard But because of the colored plant the panels the colored panels are the more important than actually the words themselves I find it easier to just kind of click around on things and try to form words through the colored panels themselves uh, You don't necessarily have to start at a colored panel but I just find it easier that way, specifically for my gaming style. Now, this is a devious trap here. There is uh, different word games in this. It isn't necessarily just fighting monsters and spelling letters. Sometimes you'll find things like devious trap. Uh, in devious trap, particularly, you need to spell as many words with this these set of letters before the timer runs out. Otherwise, it's going to do a bunch of damage to you. So let's try. Uh, do I have another M? Nope. Nope, don't, totally don't. Okay, so let's go with, um, let's see here. Let's go with scene, submit. So that now is going to reduce the damage of that trap, but we still have quite a bit of letters. If I were to let this go off, it would probably do a lot of damage to you. So let's go with, um, duel, totally, cool. Let's go with, is millable word? No, okay. mim. It might be. Nope. Let's go with uh, rib. Let's go with zig. Perfect. Now we're down to one letter at this point. Uh, and we'll, we don't really have any other word that we can spell with them, right? Well, what we're going to do is hit finished. It's going to tell us how much damage we're going to take. It shoots us. You take a tiny bit of damage. How do you spell less words? Then it would do a schmutt load more damage and possibly wipe out your entire party. Uh, there's four word games in total. Like There's one for treasure chests. Uh, there's one obviously for combat. There's one for I forgot what the other one was. There's like one more I don't remember what it is though. Oh, right if you die If you die there's a word game where you have depending on it spell a long word to either live and come back into the fight or kill the monster Hopefully we might get to see that though All right, so what we got here. We got numb Quite a bit of damage there fantastic Let's go with a uh, slip Awesome, okay Let's go with uh, Sin. Awesome. Let's go with, uh, I'd love to say Lust, but 
That's just not gonna happen. Let's go with Len. Nope, not a word. All right. Uh, let's go with. I already tried that one. Uh, 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 crap. Uh, you can also hit the shuffle button. We'll take all the letters and kind of jumble them around and hopefully give you an idea of what to spell. So let's go with Sat. Took it out. Pretty simple. Like that. She leveled up now. She probably either gained a skill point. Now you can only level up your characters at fountains. Um, so you need to kind of progress forward for you to actually use your skill points and enhance your character's abilities. Hopefully we'll get to do that here before the end of the video. Here's a loot chest. Now this is a different kind of word game. You need to spell a combination of letters, a word from left to right using two rows of letters. So for instance, uh, two pag, no, uh, it's two, I don't really know what this word is. Um, to Todag, no, that's not a word. <laughs> um, I don't think we're going to get this one. No, I don't really know. The word in this one, to par. Okay, that's definitely not it. I have no idea what the word is. Uh, you... I'm just trying to guess at this point. Uh, nope. The word was toper. Didn't I spell toper? The, uh, w one who topes or drinks frequently to excess. A drunkard. A sot. So obviously I suck at spelling. Uh, I don't know the word toper. I never heard that word. And I didn't get the loot from that. Which sucks. But in the chest you usually find like gold. Or items to enhance your strength and your stats to make you more of an efficient fighter. I'm not able to show you that to you because I sucked. <laughs> Um, and that, that's kind of an example of what that game is like. Um, mer, I know that's a word. All right. Let's go with Sab. Sure. Let's go with uh, Cot. Fine. Perfect. Let's go with um, Rig. Perfect. Uh, let's go with... Uh, I wish there was a Y somewhere by. Oh, it worked. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So it was a four-letter word, so she used her second-level ability to heal us really quick there, too. Let's go with poor. Nope, 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 nope. Totally doesn't work. Let's go with... Um... Uh, I wish there was a T around here. We No, no, not going to work. Let's go with... Um... Slide. Okay, let's just reshuffle the words. Uh, let's go with. Uh, sometimes you'll find combination letters like QU here. Those are definitely hard to use, those letters. Let's go with. Uh, tick. That works. Let's go with bow. That's not a word? Bow's not a word? Oh, okay, fine. Let's go with boob. Haha. -ha. Totally work. Now, there's like a monster guide here that lets you see the monsters that you have defeated up to this point. Uh, really no benefit other than just kind of seeing the pixel graphics again. And, you know, I did mention, I should mention I do enjoy the pixel graphics. It's a very simplistic looking game. Uh, the, you know, the effects of the spells are pretty nice. Music is eh. Uh, and I find sometimes the sound effects can get a little distracting. But that's because I have oversensitivity to noise. Uh, sometimes it's just the, when they hit you that puh, puh, puh kind of distracts and drives me insane. But I mean, otherwise it's just fine. That's just more of a personal preference. This is a potion shop. Like I said, you can find random things basically in the game that I can help you out. So like we'll buy a healing potion here. And like one of my party members could be Kurt right now. So I could go ahead and say use potion, small healing potion. There's also attack potions, defense potions. Uh, she has 343 hit points. She has two, uh, yeah, they're fine. They don't really need to use it. But there's a whole lot of different kinds of potions that you can use. You can also find weapon shops to equip your characters with. All sorts of kind of crazy stuff here. So let's go ahead and go with... Uh... Now, if you were to just use the normal letters, by the way, it doesn't work. You need to use the... Um... the no you need to use the colored panels for you to do what you need to do. So let's go with... Um... Out? Is that a word? Totally not a word. 
Dak. Not a word. Okay, a, oh, cat. Cat's totally a word. Fantastic. Blew a bunch of his health off, like right there. Let's go with sod. More damage. Fantastic. Let's go with um, uh, met. Aha. More damage. Fantastic. Let's go with wag. She healed us. Fantastic. Let's go with um, toll. Um, talk? Nope, okay, not a word. Let's go with... Nope, that's not a word anywhere I can see there. Let's go, let's shuffle it up. Tay? Uh, Tay's a word, there you go. Awesome. Killed it. Uh, we can get a little bit more hurt, but again, we're not too in a bad, too bad position here. Let's continue along here. Hopefully we can find some more... Um, Songbird would like to join your party. This is definitely a character I've never seen before. Hits the enemy for 100 damage. Uh, yes, absolutely. Join my party, Songbird. Now we've unlocked a new hero for us to play with. We will unlock him later on for future playthroughs. Um, and now we'll have multiple colored pa paths here. So we'll go with the uh, Tui. All right, Ty. Let's go with uh, Poo. Let's go with... Goo? Works for me. Let's, let's, uh, rune. Bam! You can see how like, you start tying words together. It just starts kind of getting really, really fast in the damage you can do here. Uh, rust. I would love to have spelled rust, but I don't have a T anywhere nearby. Let's go with, um, sin again. Let's go with beg. More damage. Let's go with uh, core. Perfect. Okay. Let's, let's shuffle it up a little bit. Change things up here. Let's go with beer. beer. Come on, give me another E. Where's another E? Give me another E. Oh, damn it. Back snapped on a little word. Uh, let's go with web. Fantastic. We killed it. Everyone's going to get a little experience, because he's low level, he's going to get a lot of experience, as you can imagine. And I like that, that you know, the experience kind of carries over, and if you do lose, the experience does carry over here. Uh, which is very nice. You can also review the re review the rules, I should say, by clicking on the question mark down here, guys. Uh, the only thing I wish I could do would be, like, um, one thing I kind of say is, I want to feel like I'm an explorer, or at least... Oops, I just spilled the road. Um, I don't think that's going to be able to work, is it? Nope, totally not. I wish I was more of like, you know, I want to feel like a, a like a, um, an explorer, as it were. Um, and I just feel like it would be kind of, give me some variation, maybe the directions I can go, would be kind of cool. So for like instance, if I had the ability to go left or right, and you just kind of just, you know, alter the direction I was going in, um, it would be nice. I think it would just add a little bit more flavor to the game. That would be a little bit more, um, just just a little bit more control to me instead of just sitting here uh, and you know spelling words which isn't you know, a bad thing I'm not complaining in any way I'm just saying it would just add a little bit more extra to the game itself so we're going pretty good here uh, let's go with S-T-U D there it is stud killed it fantastic now he's leveled up we need to find a fountain gosh dang it I haven't found a single fountain game. There's a blacksmith. He's got some uh, curis, a shoddy chainmail, and a shoddy short sword. We'll buy the shoddy short sword. Uh, and we'll give that to my priestess here. Now, what is uh, her damage? Should have gone up. It did. Cool. So we'll. So, oh, maybe this the, the blue stat represents their defense. Let me see if I'll experiment with that. 42. Her. Okay, so it's too expensive now. She was at 42 two seconds ago. Gosh dang it. All right, hold on. Stole. Stole. <laughs> we got some experience, some armor. Some golden armor, I mean. Sweet. All right, I'm going to see something really quick. I want to see you. Use this potion. Okay. 42. So it's not. I don't know exactly what. I think that. So I guess that is mana that she has up. So I guess there is somewhat of a limit in a way to the number of things you could cast. 
Um, Stan. <laughs> so, yeah. Names aren't going to work, obviously. Wib. Bib. Gust. Nice. Lots of damage there. Uh, T O. Uh, T. Tot. That works. B I. Bick. <laughs> that's, that's a shaving product. Not a helpful thing to spell there. Uh, last word we're going to spell here is going to be lap. Nope. Hold on. How about lap? That works. That killed it. So I think you guys got a pretty good idea of how this game works here, guys. Hopefully we can run into a fountain here. Last click through. No, just on the treasure chest. Uh, we'll see if we can get that one really quick. I don't know if I'm going to get this one, though. Seder. Seder's a word, isn't it? Cater. Totally a word. We'll see you sadder. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. My word works too, buddy. Don't give me crap. Okay, well, you get the idea, guys. You can just go to these fountains. It'll let you upgrade either a, a one ability or two of them, depending on the character who's leveled up the most. Like, if you, could, you can also, you don't have to do it in order. You can say, well, I want to go from splash to drench, or uh, I'll take fireball in that third one. I can go from strum to the last one. You get the idea. You don't necessarily have to be forced to go down one particular path, and I like that, guys. So to sum up, guys, uh, I am obviously not really good at spelling games, to be honest with you. I, I think I'm a little terrible. But, you know, I did, however, you know, have fun with Words for Evil, guys. It's not the most prettiest game. It's not necessarily the world's most complex game, but it's, a, you know, it's a simple, fun game. And sometimes you just want to play something that's just, you know, sit back, enjoy, and kind of addictive. And lets you just kind of just go, and not think about anything. And I think Words for Evil is a lot of fun guys i enjoy the pixel graphics the different classes the mix of rpg you know and the puzzle aspects even if i did suck at it now obviously this is a game you're either going to love or be a little weirded out by though i mean it's a very niche style game i still enjoy it though i didn't run into any bugs while playing the game guys it is very well put together the word games can be very challenging and there is obviously some replay value here for you to enjoy I would suggest this to someone looking for a good puzzle game to play. It's interesting. It's different. I think the main thing here will be how long does this type of game hold your attention personally, as that kind of tends to vary from person to person. So big thanks to the developer for a chance to check this game out, guys. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and share, and I will keep bringing you awesome games, guys. Till next time, play more indie games.